Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. In this video, I would like to cover Candles Taobi. Last time, I showed you how to calculate gamma statistic to measure ordinal association by using concordance and discordance. Today, I would like to show you how to calculate Candles Taobi and asymptotic standard error. Candles tau b is similar to gamma, except that tau b uses a correction for ties. I will use this formula, so we need to clearly understand it. I will use same continuous table data, and also we assume we have calculated concordance and discordance. So, p equals this cell from gamma spreadsheet and Q equals this one. For WR, WC, yeah, we can use this formula. There is a marginal sum of row and marginal sum of column and square. So we can use some SQ function in Excel. And square minus uh, sum SQ of marginal sum of row and n squared minus sum sq of marginal sum of column right so and for w uh, sqrt square roots of wr by wc all right then we can calculate candles tau b uh, which is equal to p minus q over w right which is same as SPSS output uh, in order to calculate asymptotic standard error we need to use this formula so there is dij and vij dij equals aij minus dij and vij uh, equals uh, marginal sum of row multiplied by WC plus marginal sum of column multiplied by WR. So let's list up all uh, matrix data uh, in this form. And for column, Right, so there is a marginal sum, and we can think of uh, VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP function. So uh, let me uh, make L1, LI, and LJ to use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. So L and row, L and column. For nij, uh, we can use offset function. And select one reference and press F4 to fix it. And row number, comma, and column number. Right. So dij yeah, equals aij uh, minus dij. So sum of aij. Uh, this one from gamma spreadsheets and minus sum of dij so which is d11 okay so vij uh, uh, yep so we can use this formula there's marginal sum here so uh, as an example let's calculate uh, v11 so uh, n1 dot is here multiply by wc here press f4 to fix it press uh, n dot 1 here and multiply by wr press f4 right so in order to apply this formula into other cells we need to change uh, this uh, h7 and c12 part so instead of uh, h7 we can use vlookup and 
L1, comma, and table array here, and press F4, and comma, uh, column index 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 4, comma, and fourth. And instead of C12, we can use HLOOKUP, and this cell, and comma, right. So the row index is 7, comma, and first. Right. Uh, yeah, we need, I need to fix one, this one. So for numerate part, first numerate part, let's calculate it. And 1, 1, multiply by 2, multiply by w uh, fix it press f4 and comma and multiply by t11 plus uh, tau b press f4 comma uh, uh, multiply by v11 close form and square it okay let's add up all values And finally, to calculate asymptotic standard error, we need to use square root, SQRT. And the first part here, and minus, and 3, and uh, to the 3, multiply by tau b squared, multiply by wr plus wc and square and close the form and over w to the first so w to the first all right so yeah our uh, result is same as also uh, SPSS so that's it for uh, candles tau v so uh, I hope it was uh, helpful for you to clearly understand how to calculate Kendall's Tau V. Please click uh, like and subscribe uh, if it was helpful for you. And if you want to see more video clips, thank you.